Hello, once again, audience. Welcome back to MNC Gaming. Today, Rival Kingdoms. I wanted to share this game with you. I've just started playing about, mm, oh, I don't know, I want to say four days ago. Three days ago? Four days ago? Uh, extremely smooth graphics. Uh, not the best gameplay. However, I want to go over a few of the features and uh, let you know where I'm at. This is your forge, or your, your, your stronghold, rather. It's the same as your town center. Um, I am a level four, as you can see. Uh, there are dragons. There are what are called ancients. You can enhance your ancients uh, through this little building here, called your ancient shrine. Shrine. You enhance your ancient by earning. Uh, what are they called? By getting Primus. Primus and gold will allow you to upgrade your ancients or simply taking them into battle in order to get them experience points. Uh, different ancients have different abilities as well. Different ancients have the ability to get higher ranking than other ones. Uh, let's show you a gameplay. You have winning streaks. Uh, there isn't an ability to actually skip. There's no train time on your army. However, what there is are attack stones. Better use your stones. Your stones automatically regenerate. Uh, usually about once an hour you can go in and get five attacks in. Uh, you have a static amount of money that you get, or very close to static, depending on what level you are at. Uh, on the right hand side here is where your ancient resides. Once you're up against an opponent, you have the ability to choose a different ancient if you want, or you can stick with the same one that you've got. If it's a really hard opponent, you can get a battle boost. Battle boosts are actually earned from chests by doing battle. On the far left hand side, you also have the ability to automatically, or not automatically, but magically retrain your troops. Uh, you simply drag and drop your troops, and they go ahead and they start to go to work. One of the really nice features is if you're up against a weaker opponent, you can simply fast forward. On the right hand side, you'll notice that the bar is now completely full, giving me the ability to actually use some of these things. If you want to know what each one of them does, you can hold it down. It actually slows the battle down quite a significant amount, and it gives you a little bit of a description as to what each one of these does, which is really nice. Very, very handy, especially if you've just got a new ancient and you don't know exactly what it does. Or if you're like me and you forgot. Again, the graphics are extremely smooth. This is a current event that's going on. Um, and there you go. I have a relic chest that I just got as a result of attacking. Touch open. Gives you a fancy little graphic. And there you go. So, Hagar is a duplicate. I already have him. As a result, it says convert to Primus. So you go ahead and do that. Sticks it in your inventory and away you go. Ancient Mastery Reward. Let's go ahead and open that. That looks like more Primus in order to upgrade my Ancients. <clears throat> Nature Primus. So there's different categories of Ancients. There are... And this is really quite a beginner guide. I'm sure I'm probably... Uh, hopefully I'll get somebody that actually knows more about this game than I do. Uh, the wiki is extremely helpful. Extremely, extremely helpful. Uh, there's death, fire, lightning, nature, and ice ancients. Uh, and you get those literally by just going and attacking, you get them. And there's also different classifications of them. Uh, but it's not a pay to win on the basis that you can go and purchase them and spin to win, so to speak. Which is very, very nice. Uh, what else did I want to show you guys? There's walls. The one big thing that I did notice in regard to the base layout is if you are in your base layout, it looks pretty s significantly similar to the, a lot of the different formats that I've seen. One of the nice aspects, though, is that you don't have to put your walls in a straight line. 
you can actually make corners. A valid corner, corner that uh, is nice and rounded. Um, I don't know why you would do that. Well, it allows you to actually expand a little bit extra on your base. Um, let's see. There's some defensive stuff. The one suggestion I would make, contact me. I do have a line on uh, some nice bonuses and whatnot. There's my dragon. So pretty. <sighs> yeah, hit me up in the comment section down below. Uh, or fire me off a message or come find me on Discord. You know where I'm at. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. As always, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.